Alright, sir. Alright, first and foremost, I want to say call hello. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's all praises to the Most High God and the only in the name of His only begotten Son. For the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. For the Hebrew Israelites, the second Sakari, Phoenix chapter, come out here to teach our people, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, their true identity according to the Bible. That is, that they are of the, the uh, nation of Israel of the various 12 tribes. And also, to tell our oppressors, the enemies, in particular the so-called white man, that he is the devil the Bible speaks of. That's right. And there is no salvation for him. Let's start with uh, oh, like, and if you guys can hear us, do a put a one for uh to make sure you can hear us clearly. Give me uh Job nine and twenty four. Chapter 9, verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Meaning that the people that run this earth, that have their hands in everything, they are who, who is called the wicked in the Bible. That's right. And who is that? The so-called white man. Read on. Nah. He covers the faces of the judges thereof. So he covered the faces of the judges thereof. And how did they do this? By painting over our images to look like them. Uh, to cover the faces of the judges, the, the greatest judge to ever walk the planet Earth is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And he has the whole world tricked and deceived, making him think he looks like this faggot right here. That's right. This white boy, that's not Jesus Christ. It's not Hamashiach Yahushai. Read on. If not, where and who is he? If not, where and who is he? So if it's not the white man, who is it and where is it? That's a rhetorical question because it very clearly is the white man. Huh. That's it on that. Get Malachi 1 and 4. You go to uh, churches all across America, black neighborhoods we have in the most churches and Hispanic neighborhoods, and everyone you go into, what do you see? That white boy, that pedophile, that rapist, that murderer. Which verse you need? Malachi 1 and 4. And black people, Hispanic people, and Native American people all across this country, all around the world, bowing down to that image and serving their oppressor. Uh, it's goddamn sick. Read on. Malachi chapter 1, verse 4. Where is Edom safe? We are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. So he said, when they're impoverished, they're going to return and build the desolate places. Read on. Thus, save, your, save the Lord of hosts. They shall build. They shall build, but what? But I will throw down. But I will throw down. So no matter what the white man plans to do, no matter what he devises in his heart, the Most High God's gonna throw it down. And they shall call them the border of wickedness. What shall we call them? The border of wickedness. What is the white man? The border of wickedness. The white man is the border of wickedness. <laughs> the epitome of wickedness. There is none more wicked than the so-called white man. Read on. And the people against whom the Lord have indignation forever. The people with whom the Lord have indignation forever. Meaning what? No matter what. The Most High God hates the goddamn devil, the white man. That's right. Revelation 2 and 9. There's a lot of folks might be out here thinking, oh, but I thought the Jews were his chosen people. The Jews are his chosen people, but those people that you're thinking of are not Jews. Jerry Seinfeld and Bill Goldberg, those are not Jews. Right! Those are Khazars, Mamzers, Bastards. 
Revelations. Chapter 2, verse 9. I know thy works and tribulations. So Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai of the world, ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, said, I know your works and your tribulations. Meaning, I know what you do and the problems that you go through. Read on. And poverty. And poverty. I know the poverty you suffer. The so-called white man is not in poverty. The so-called Jewish man is the richest man on the face of the earth. That's right. So this can't be talking about him. Read on. But thou art rich. But thou art rich. Why? Because we have the promise. Go ahead. And I know the blasphemy. The filthy, disgusting lie. He says, I know the blasphemy. Of them which say they are Jews. Which say they are Jews and what? And are not. And are not. But are the synagogue of Satan. They call themselves Jews, but are not and do lie, but they are of the synagogue of Satan. That's right. <coughs> so all your net and yahoos and you Facebook yahoos. That's right. That's right. The synagogue of Satan, man. You got a person? Revelations Psalm 73. Chapter 3 verse 9 Behold I will make them of the synagogue of Satan So he's going to take them that are of the synagogue of Satan And what? Which say they are Jews So it's people that say they are Jews And are not And are not, go ahead But do lie But they're damn liars, man That's right So what's he going to make them do? Behold I will make them, make them to come and worship before thy feet. So he's going to make them come and worship before our feet. Whose feet? The true Israelites of the Bible. That's the right. blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's right. The poor and the disenfranchised in the earth. We have you damn devils bound before our feet. Read on. And to know that I have loved thee. So they're going to know that he's loved us and not them. Guess what? God don't love everybody. He hates the so-called devil. That's right. Sorry, not the so-called devil. He is the devil. The so-called white man. That's right. Get that. Get what you got. Huh? It's the book of Psalms, chapter 73, verse 12. Behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world. So these are the ungodly who prosper in the world. Who prospers more in the world more than the so-called white man? Nobody. That's right. Who's That's right. more ungodly than the so-called white man? Nobody. That's right. That's where we at. Four o'clock. Four in the evening until? Until. Okay, all right, all right, sister. God bless you. Okay. 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 Uh, That's a beautiful thing, man. The word's getting out. That's right. Our people are waking up. And it's about damn time. That's right. We've been asleep long enough. Is that it on that? You got more. They increase in riches. They increase in riches. How? By conquesting other lands. That's right. By raping, robbing, and murdering as they go. That's right. Attempting to commit genocide on our brothers, the so-called Gadites, the so-called Issacharites, the so-called Reubenites. Sorry, not so-called, I keep saying that the wrong time. The so-called Mexicans, so-called natives, and so-called Seminoles, who are who I just said. That's right. See, give me, um, you already in Psalms, right? Give me Psalm uh, 94 and three. Yep. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 94, verse 3. Lord, how long shall the wicked, Lord, how long shall the wicked, how long 
shall the wicked triumph. So King David is, is writing in his song, asking the Most High God, how long is, there, is, is the wicked going to triumph? How long are they going to reign in the earth? That's right. Because it's a grievous thing unto us that our enemies should rule over us. It's despicable. It's disgusting. I don't want no goddamn white man ruling over me. That's right. And I know for a fact the white man ain't the Messiah. That's right. And he ain't Korean neither. That's right. Read on. How long shall they utter and speak hard things? So how long are they going to taunt us with their words? and talk down on us and speak badly to us. Go ahead. And all the workers of iniquity boast themselves. And how do they boast themselves? By making holidays like Thanksgiving where they celebrate the slaughter of the Native Americans who are the Gadites, according right. to the Bible. How do they speak these things against us? I'll tell you something. Just last night, some cracker devil piece of garbage followed my wife home from the grocery store, parked and got out and was pacing waiting for her to get out the car. He didn't, he didn't leave till me and this brother came out. And he skirted on out of there. So he called the police on him and they said, nothing happened. There was no crime. Stalking is not a criminal offense anymore, apparently. At least not when a white man does it to a sister. But I guarantee you, if I got in the car and I followed some cracker devil home, some 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 she devil bitch home, they would have fuck. They would have came and arrested us. See, how you doing, brother? Good, how you? I'm all right. I'm all right. Show your nationality, brother. What? Can I ask you your nationality? You know you were Israelite. You know Jesus was black just like you, brother. Time to come on home, man. I don't want to hear. Well, some do. The sister, the sister, I got it. That's right. Pulled over for it. Yeah, the sister pulled. Tried. The sister pulled over for it. This brother couldn't couldn't break his stride just to see what the truth was about. That's all right. Cause everybody ain't getting it. Two thirds showing. Keep going. What verse you want? Uh, verse five. All right, keep going. They break in pieces, thy people. They break in pieces, thy people. How would they break us in pieces? Right here. That's right feeding our babies to alligators, putting us in chains, hanging us from trees, right here, stacking us up in these boats, mocking us, laughing at us, making signs saying, nigger, don't you wish you were white? Hell no, I don't wish I was white. That's right. I love my dark skin. That's right. The sun loves it too. That's right. And I'd rather have to get my back beat to get skin cancer just from coming outside. That's right. Where you going? Oh Lord, and afflict thine heritage. And afflict thine heritage. Go ahead. Verse six. They slay the widow and the stranger. They, and, they slay the widow and the stranger. So they'll kill us and then go kill our wives. That's right. This has been happening for hundreds of years. But it's a problem when we talk about it, right? It wasn't a problem for them to do it. They still do it. But they want to take issue when we talk about it. They want to go past and act like we're not saying it because it's too uncomfortable. You know what's uncomfortable? Getting goddamn murdered, man. That's right. Being the first fight in the last hype. Swinging from a damn rope, being tortured. Burned. Bring it out. Bring it out. Dogs sicked on us. They still sicking dogs on us. You ain't never seen a canine unit. But dog bites you, what's your natural reaction? To get away from the dog or to get the dog away from you? Boom, assault on an officer. They consider that dog a goddamn officer. The dog's life is more important than a black man or Hispanic man or Native American man to this society. That's right. Read on. And murder the fatherless and murder the fatherless. They kill our children. They kill the men, they kill the women, and then they turn around and kill the children. It's like you see right here on this sign, feeding our babies to Gator. And I'm gonna keep saying it too, because it happened. I used to live in Florida. I seen these Gators, all right? As a grown-up, and I don't wanna mess with them as a grown-up, let alone if I was a child that couldn't even walk. That's beyond cruel. 
That's all right. They're going to get double. What you got? Oh, a little bit more than that. Go ahead. Yet they say, the Lord shall not see, neither shall the God of Jacob regret it. Regard it. Regard it. Read it again. Verse 7. Yet they say, the Lord shall not see, neither shall the God of Jacob regard it. So they say that we can do all these things and nobody's going to care. How did they go about saying that? You can drop it. How did they go about saying that? Three-fifths compromise. Oh, they're not people. We won't be punished for this. It's not a big deal that we take them and we put them in zoos. Yes, human zoos. Where people used to come and mock us and laugh at us behind bars and throw things like you do with any monkey or elephant or whatever else they got in the damn zoo. That's not a problem. These ain't really people. It don't matter if I shoot a brother 10 times in the back, right. but he had his hands up. That's right. I'm going to just say he reached for my gun. It don't matter if I kill his sister in the back of the squad car. When we get her to the jail, we just going to take a picture of her corpse, make it out like it was a nut shot, and say she hung herself in the cell. No big deal. Nobody's going to care. Well, the God of the Bible cares. That's right. Jesus Christ cares, man. Real name, Mashiach Yahweh Shai. I care. That's right. Read what you got. So what do you got? This is the book of Psalms, chapter 10, verse 8. He sitteth in the lurking places of the villages. So who does this? The damn police, man. They sit in the lurking places of the villages. I remember I used to watch cartoons as a kid, like old cartoons, where they would have like the friendly policeman swinging his baton, whistling, saying hi to everybody as he went by. That's right. That's not, I never seen that in my life. That's right. What I see is them hiding off in the cut somewhere, behind a bush somewhere, behind a building. And as soon as you do something that they feel like they can jump on you for, or as soon as you look a certain way, here they come. Actually, in the state of Arizona, it's legal for them to pull you over based on your skin tone so they can see if you were legal or not. That's right. That's right. But the white man's not the devil. You goddamn crazy. Read on. In the secret places do he murder the innocent. In the secret places do he murder the innocent. They wear these uh, cameras on, on, on their on they chest. They got cameras in their car. What do they do? Turn them off. That's right. They pull you over, pop the hood, so the hood's in the way of the camera. They murder you in the secret places, and they make up some story. And just because they got a badge on, the majority of people believe it. But somebody with a badge on is the last person you should believe. Duh. All right. His eyes are privily set against the poor. His eyes are privily set against the poor. They only do this in our neighborhood. I never see them do this in white neighborhoods. Go ahead. He lieth in wait secretly as a lion in his den. He lieth in wait secretly as a lion in his den. It's the same thing they do, hiding in the shadows. That's right. You come too close to that den, he pouncing on you. Unless you look like him. Go ahead. He lieth in wait to catch the poor. You know what? He doeth catch the poor when he draws him into his neck. See, he do catch the poor when he draws them into his neck. They actually used to use nets to catch us. Now what do they do? They form barricades. They, they have streets blocked off. There's nowhere you can go. Go ahead. He crouches and humbleth, humbleth himself. You can drop that. Oh. Hey, what you got back? What's Mackey beans? Chapter 3, verse 48. And laid open the book of the law. So the so-called white man, the devil the Bible speaks of, laid open the book of the law. Meaning what? He read what was in the Bible. That's right. And he saw the, who it was talking about. Huh. And who wrote it. And who's supposed to read it. What did he do? Wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. Wherein the heathen has sought to paint the likeness of their images. This bastard right here, man. Caesar Borgia. Uh. Son of Pope Alexander. A devil in the earth. Uh. 
one of the chiefest of devils in the earth. That's right. Read up on this man. This man who was banging his sister out. Something that's typical of his people anyway. That's right. You got something? Before you get that though, okay. Go to Maccabees 1. Where, where they made it illegal for us to uh, even go into the fire. Uh, SR2. Yeah. First Maccabees 1, verse 41. Because these people, a lot of people like to say the Bible's the white man's book. The white man gave it to us. The white man did not permit us to learn how to read or write. If we were caught learning how to read or write, when we were in hardcore bondage, we'd be put to death for it. So how did he give this to us? And this is just something we holding on from him. Uh, this happened before that too. Read that in Maccabees. Verse Maccabees, chapter one, verse 41. Moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom. So this Edomite king, who took over our spot, wrote to his whole kingdom. Read on. That all should be one, be one people. That all should be one people. Where do we see this today? Right here in the United States of America. All uh, right. In the last four days, I had one black man and two Mexican men respond to me saying, I'm an American, when I asked them what their ethnicity was. Uh. Why do they say that? Because that's what's taught here. They say if you're here, you're an American. It doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter where your family came from. You're just an American. But if I'm an American, just like that cracker over there, now how come I'm living in a different America than him? That's right. Read on. And everyone should leave his laws. So they want everyone to leave their own laws. Go ahead. So all the heathen agreed, according to the commandment of the king. So according to the commandment of the king, all the heathen agreed. They said, yeah, everybody throw away your laws. We're only going to follow King Antiochus. Go ahead. Yeah, many also of the Israelites consented to his religion. So many sellouts, many coons consented to this religion. Huh. Like we see today. When everybody can be saved. It doesn't matter what Jesus looked like. All that nonsense. Our people selling out for the goddamn white man. You can be ashamed of yourself. Read on. And sacrifice unto idols. And sacrifice unto idols. Isn't that what we're told to do here? What's coming up? Christmas. Oh, deck the halls. Cut down the tree. Bring it in your house. Wrap it up with lights. Give it gifts, put presents under it. Leave, leave Santa Claus some cookies. Who the hell is Santa Claus? That's right. Can, is there a book of Santa Claus I can read about in the Bible somewhere? Hell no. I ain't giving him no cookies. And if he did live, he'd been dead. They want us to make food offerings to their gods. Wow. Gift offerings to their gods. God. If the Christmas tree falls over, it's a bad omen. You know what that means? That Christmas tree is an idol. Bring it out! And don't tell me you're doing it for Jesus because Jesus don't like it. Don't tell me you just like the smell of pine in your house. Why you only like the smell of pine in your house on December 25th? That's right. God. You're a goddamn liar. Read on. And, and profane the Sabbath. And profane the Sabbath. First of all, most people don't even know when the Sabbath is. But let's just say, for the sake of argument, that it is Friday night to Saturday night. Most people don't even keep that. So even if you honestly believe in your heart that it's Friday night to Saturday night and that's how you keep it, hey, I don't have no problem with you because at least you're trying. But these people out here, they ain't trying. They profane the Sabbath thing. That's right. Doing work on the Sabbath. Shopping on the Sabbath. God. Cooking on the Sabbath. God. Go ahead. For the king has sent letters by messenger unto Jerusalem. So this king sent letters. He sent his messengers off with letters to Jerusalem. Who's in Jerusalem? Us. Our people are in Jerusalem. So what the hell does this devil king want with us? Go ahead. 
and the cities of Judah. You know what? That they should follow the strange laws of the land. That they should follow the strange laws of the land. And this is another thing people love to throw around. Oh, well, while we're here, we just got to follow the laws of this land. When in Rome, do as the Romans do. I ain't doing as no damn Romans do. The Romans were a bunch of homosexuals, man. Come. Huh. And you are too if you follow after them. Huh. How you guys doing? How you guys doing? Can I ask you a question, brother? Are you busy? I ain't worried about it. Go ahead. Keep reading. And forbid burnt offerings and sacrifices. And forbid the sacrifices. So what they do? They took the priests out of office. Go ahead. And drink offerings in the temple. And they should profane the Sabbaths and festival days. And the festival days. Why is it that the Christian church upholds every holiday except the holidays in the Bible? That's huh. right. What the hell does Easter, Christmas, Halloween, Valentine's Day, Thanksgiving, St. Patrick's Day, I can go on. None of that is in the Bible. Growing up in the church, I never even heard my pastor mention Passover. I didn't even know what Purim was. What's a feast of dedication? They didn't teach me that. I had to go into the Bible to find it. That's right. And these people are supposed to be the ones doing the work of God? That's a joke. Read on. And pollute the sanctuary and holy people. And pollute the sanctuary and what? Holy people. And pollute the holy people. How are they polluting the people? With idols. With unclean foods. I just had some, some lost Issacharite in Judah tell me the other day that, oh, I can eat whatever I want. Pork doesn't hurt me. This man don't realize he got a, a, an intestine full of worms and parasites. That's right. That's right. He got no idea. And he's not going to know until it's too late because he doesn't consider. God. When, he, when he loses 50 pounds in a week and goes to the doctor, the doctor going to tell him, then it'll click. Then it'll make sense. Oh, those, those crazy guys on the corner was right. Maybe I shouldn't have eaten all this pork. But I bet he still don't come back to the Bible after that because our people are stiff-necked and hard-headed. That's right. He'll probably just say, oh, it's meat in general. All meat's bad then. Nah. All meat ain't bad. The most I got told us what to eat, told us what not to eat. Go ahead. Set up altars and groves and chapels of idols. So they set up altars and groves and chapels of idols. Where do we see this predominantly? In the Catholic Church. Where else do we see it? Every damn way. Ah. All over the place. Got idols, uh, major companies using idols as their logos. That's right. Idols on the sides of buses and trains and trolleys. That's right. People wearing idols on their necks like crosses and anchors. Yes, anchors, that's an, that's an, that's an old Christian symbol. Babylon used, the Babylonians used to use it too. Because it's another variation of the cross. All right. The feet, look, look, get that cop car right there. With the phoenix on it, right? The rising, the, the, the rising birth from the ashes. Huh. The idol's everywhere you look. Everywhere. All right. You can stop those <laughs> Go on. And sacrifice swine's flesh. And sacrifice swine's flesh. They don't want to let us make the righteous sacrifices. But they'll, let, they'll tell us to sacrifice swine's flesh. That's right. They should also leave their children uncircumcised. That they should also leave their children uncircumcised. Now, why would they want us to leave our children uncircumcised? Because this is the initial covenant that was made between the Most High God, Yahweh, and Abraham. Bring it out. If you're not, if you don't get circumcised, if you don't circumcise your children, you're alienated from the covenant. This is something that must happen. So all you watching and everybody out here listening, if you have not been circumcised, get circumcised immediately. 
That's right. Don't wait. Don't put it off. As a matter of fact, where is that? Make no terror and turn it to the Lord. We need to find that. I need that immediately. Just because you might be don't mean I'm going to be. So you got to do it now. Read on. It's the book of Sirach, chapter 5, verse 7. Make no tearing to turn to the Lord. Make no tearing means don't wait. Go ahead. And put not, not off from day to day. So don't put it off from day to day to turn unto the Lord. Don't say, oh, I'm going to do it tomorrow. Because then tomorrow you're just going to say, ah, I'm going to do it tomorrow. Right. Right. Tomorrow ain't never going to come. Go ahead. For suddenly... Shall the wrath of the Lord come forth? So suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. Read on. And in thy security thou shalt be destroyed. So in thy security, meaning when you feel safe, when you feel secure, that's when you're going to be destroyed. Say, oh, I got time to get it. I got time to do it. You don't. You don't have time. Time's up. Get it done now. And perish in the day of vengeance. And perish in the day of vengeance. And God forbid that sky, that sky should crack and you didn't get yourself cut yet. That's right. God forbid that sky should crack and you chomping down on a pork chop. God forbid that sky should crack and you in bed with your neighbor's wife. Y'all got to cut all this out now. Continue with what you got. God. And make their souls abominable with all matters of unclean and profane profanation. So they make themselves abominable. And who promotes this? The society today. Just like the society of yesterday used to promote it. This is a continuation. It's the same thing. That's why this is Babylon the Great. Because everything that happened here already happened there. It's the same thing. Go ahead. To the end, they might forget the law. To the end that they might forget the law. Our people don't even know the law. I bet you. If I ask the next 10 Black, Hispanic, and Native American people that walk past here today, if they could give me 10 laws outside of the Ten Commandments, I bet you they couldn't do it. I, yeah, possibly even five. They might not even be able to give me five. So they might be able to say, uh, uh, well, don't be a homo. Uh, uh, dang, I don't know. Besides the Ten Commandments, our people don't know because it was beat out of them. Uh, they made us forget it. They had us serving other idols, chiefly this one. That's right. They had us abandoning, abandoning our law and, and practicing theirs. A Jake will smile in your face. Will smile in your face while you eat some cat or dog from the damn Chinese restaurant. But they go, hey, hey, brother, hey, put your seatbelt on, man. Hey, you don't, you don't want them, you don't want them laws to see you without the seatbelt. You scared of these crackers and these cars over here, but you ain't scared of the most high God. No. I don't even know what I just saw. Yeah. I don't know what that was. I seen Adam's album for sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was a boy. That's sick, man. He might as well be walking around with the beat headphones on so he can't hear it. So I know he don't want to. And change all the ordinances. And change all the ordinances. What they do? They took they. Well, we talked about the Sabbath, right? Huh. They had everybody believing the Sabbath was Friday to Saturday. That was already a change. Well, let's just say we go with that. Then they switch it to Sunday, That's right? True. Bring it they, out. They changed the calendar how many times? The Julian calendar had like what eight day, nine day week, something like that. Huh. The Gregorian calendar initially didn't start on Sunday. They switch everything around, flip-flop everything around. They say, hey, thou shalt not kill. But we go come to the United States of America and kill all the indigenous here. What kind of backwards-ass stuff is that? 
The white man is backwards. That's right. He is crooked. And he cannot be made straight. Read on. And whosoever would not do according to the commandment of the king. So whoever wouldn't abandon the laws of their God, whoever wouldn't abandon their God himself, whoever wouldn't worship these idols and worship this king, what was, what was the command? He said he should die. He said he should die. So this was, this was an ordinance put on us by pain of death. child and you had that child circumcised they would hang the baby and kill you read on how big many in israel were fully resolved albeit many in israel were fully resolved go ahead and confirmed in themselves not to eat any unclean thing they said we're not going man we ain't going for this they're not going to eat the unclean thing. They're going to keep circumcising their children. They're going to keep worshiping the God of our fathers like they're supposed to. That's right. They have the guts that Negroes out here don't got, man. That's right. Everybody want to get big and bad with themselves, with each other. But when the cops roll by, hey, man, I, I don't know nothing about it. I wasn't there. I wow. Scared. Spirit of fear, man. Go ahead. Wherefore, they, they chose rather to die. They chose rather to die than what? That they might not be defiled with meat, and that they might not profane the holy covenant. So then they die. It's better to die. That's right. Than to defile yourself, to defile die. your own body. That's right. Which is the temple of God. That's right. It's better to die than to profane the covenant. Because this is bigger than you. How you doing, brother? Hey, man, everybody, anybody ever told you you was an Israelite, brother? Huh? Anybody ever told you you was an Israelite? I already know I'm an Israelite. You already know? I just didn't want to tell. Okay. I know who I am. I'm an original Hebrew. Hey, that's right, brother. I cut my beard, man. That's hey, right. They right. got me, they got me too many times. Hey. Using the S curl, that's why I call it the S curl. The chemicals, man. Trip the shit out of me. They ain't gonna get no more. Hey, that's right, brother. Hey, good to meet you. I like the, uh, the fringes. Hey. Fringes is for the pocket. Hey, that's right, that's man. That real. That, when I see the fringes, then I respect that. So I just, that's why I keep walking. I already know what y'all know. All right, Go. brother. God bless you, man. Yeah. God bless you. Is that the same cop SUV that circled around twice already? Mm, there's two people in the first one. There's two, two people, people in this one. Yeah. That's, three, that's the third time these damn devils have circled around. But hey, it will behind us too. Yeah. Alright, well, you know it. Meanwhile, these people still have drugs all over here. That's a question. That's a question. So I'm right. Friday and Saturday, but this made this calendar that they got is made up. What our what our ancestors were doing was they were following the sun, moon, and stars. So it's, a, it's pursuant to the to the lunar cycle, which this society doesn't run on. So no matter what, Sabbaths are gonna in the, the Sabbath and work schedules are gonna interfere. Yeah, I see. So and, it, and it's just like when we were in Egypt. It's just like when we were in Babylon, Syria, all these different captivities. They didn't give us a Sabbath off. 
So we just have to do the best we can. How about switching? I know you're working with our anything at all. We out here exercising our First Amendment right. That's this right. Is not against the law of this land. So there's nothing they can do about us being out here. We're not on private property. We're not trespassing. So there's nothing they can do about us being out here. That's right. Not lawfully. Take me to court like y'all took Paul to court. That's, That's right. right. I'll tell y'all the same thing. I didn't offend in the Bible and I didn't offend in the Constitution. You're wasting my time. <laughs> Bring it out. That same constitution that said I'm not even a human being, only three fifths. That's right. Get uh, survive 21 and 27. Yeah. Because when we come out here and we say the white man's the devil, a lot of people say, oh, but what about my pastor? My pastor's white. He teaches me out of the Bible. Yeah. First of all, he's not teaching you out of the Bible. He's teaching you out of his own heart. And he's holding a Bible. There's a difference. Bring it out. There's a big difference. Person Satan. He is Satan. So what does it matter? Give me that. So what? Chapter 21, verse 27. When the ungodly curse of Satan, he curses his own soul. So when the white man curses Satan, he curses himself. Because the white man is the devil. That's right. There ain't no getting around it. 
If you even halfway worship an idol, go ahead. And walk after other gods. And walk after other gods, chiefly Caesar Borgia, who the world ignorantly thinks should be called Jesus Christ. When the Jesus Christ of the Bible had a Hebrew name, Hamashiach Yahushai. Go ahead. And serve them. And serve them. You serve these other gods. You go into these churches and bow down to that wooden cross. You, huh. you go down to the mosque and you. And, and you make your pilgrimage to Mecca and you bow down to that dumb stone. Read on. And worship them. If you worship them, if you go to a Christian or Protestant or Baptist or Jehovah's Witness or Korean Jesus Church, go ahead. And I testify against you this day. That ye shall surely perish. That ye shall surely what? Perish. That you're going to die. You're going to die in your iniquity if you do this. That's right. How are you sisters bless. doing today? Y'all all right? Y'all see yourselves on the sign? Hallelujah. God bless. Hey, God bless you, sister. Y'all see yourselves on the sign right here? Yeah, yeah. You do? Yes, I do. Are you guys chosen no, people then? Hey, you got to come back to keeping the law, yeah, statutes, yeah. and commandments, sis. Back to the white boy got me too. She put me up on Oh, I didn't know nothing about it. I, I actually didn't know nothing about it until a year ago. Right. You know, we had been kicked before forever, and she was like, she just switched. Cause she was mad because I wouldn't go to church. We was almost about to get a divorce, and then one day she came home with like saying stuff, and she's like, check these videos out. Check these. I was like, so I don't gotta go to church. Like, no more praises. Hey, we ain't gotta go there. Cool. We don't gotta go there. We ain't giving no more offerings for nothing. Because what happened was we had got low on our money, and she said, in Detroit, we have DTE which is SRP out here. So all them ties we pay, so she's like, she was like, just ask the pastor. I'm like, I don't want to ask him to get the address, go collect bottles. We got 10 cent bottle return there. So I, she, I called and he said, let's pick your wife, like he didn't believe it. I'm like, I'm the man in the house. So I was like, okay, okay. The pastor, so, off, so anyway, yeah. I let her talk to him. She asked me, he's like, yeah, just, you know, ask God for the money. After that, she was like, it took about a week later, when I didn't get up and go to church, I'm about to watch people. She was like, she went, she came back. Something rubbed her the wrong way. And the next Sunday, she didn't go. That Wednesday, she didn't go to Bible school. I knew something was going on. She was watching videos. She wouldn't really talk. She went to her, she closed up on me. So I was, I was cool with that. As time went on, she started breaking stuff down and showing me videos. I was like, so I'm still learning. I'm still doing it. And I'm stuck here, you know, before I go to work. All right, brother. You know, Hey, quick, quick, give me 1 Corinthians um, 7 and 14. You ready? Yeah, bring it out loud. It's the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 14. For the unbelieving husband is sanctified by the wife. So the unbelieving husband is sanctified by the wife. That was this brother's testimony. That's right. He didn't know any better. His wife learned the truth and showed it to him. That's a beautiful thing, and it saved the marriage. They were about to get divorced. That was a powerful testimony, and I hope the camera heard. That's right. Hey, man, if you want to listen to the Bible, you're welcome to stay, man. Don't let him pull you along. He ain't holding no leash on you. See our people, man. All right, drop that. Deuteronomy 8, chapter 20. Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 20. As the nations which the Lord destroyed before your face, so shall ye perish. So if you follow after these other nations and you serve their God rather than the God of the Bible, 
rather than the God of your fathers, black man, Hispanic man, native Indian man, you're going to perish with them. You're going to share in the same in the same destruction as they go get. Go ahead. Because ye would not be obedient to the voice of the Lord your God. And how do you be obedient? By keeping the laws, statutes, and commandments. The very thing that powerful brother's wife showed to him and woke him up. That's right. That's right. And now he got a beard on his face. And now he's making efforts to put fringes on his clothes. Raises. You got that in uh, First John? It's the book of First John, chapter 2. And verse 3. And hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. This is how we know we know him. If we keep his commandments. Now by going to church every Sunday or Saturday or whatever your day is, going to a building does not mean you know God. Saying my pastor said such and such does not mean that you know God. You prove that you know God by keeping his commandments. Why? How you doing, brother? Oh. Shalom, shalom. He that saith, I know him and keep not his commandments. So he that says, I know him and keeps not his commandments. Your pastor at church that told you it's okay to eat pork. Your pastor at church that said, oh, the Old Testament, the, the law's done away with, the Old Testament's done away with. Read on. Is a liar. Is a what? Is a liar. Nah, he got the truth. Is a liar. He's a goddamn liar. Your pastor, your priest, your deacon, all that, they're liars. That's right. Your grandmother, a goddamn liar. That's right. Maybe she don't know better. But if you know better, you need to teach her. Keep going. And the truth is not in him. They ain't got no truth in him. There's not a spark of light in him. Go ahead. But whoso keepeth his word, in him verily is the love of God perfected. So who keeps his word, in him is the love of God perfected. That's right. Keep going. Hereby know we that we are in him. He that saith he abided in him ought himself also also so to walk even as he walked. Well, now, didn't the Messiah, didn't who the world calls Jesus Christ, keep the laws perfectly? What I was told to the church was, he kept the law so we didn't have to. Well, then how is he an example unto us? That's right. If we're supposed to walk as he walked, then we have to keep that law. We have to abstain from unclean meats. Come. We have to observe the Sabbath and keep it holy. Come. We have to love ourselves as brothers and sisters and separate from these other nations. That's, That's right. right. God called us to be holy. The Hebrew word for holy is kodash, which means separate. Ain't no integration in the Bible. The Most High God separated nations. You want to uh, go against his will? Good luck. Nah. You're going to need it. What verse was that? Oh, that was six. Okay. First John? Okay. Um, what I got you okay? Isaiah. Yeah, bring that up. Isaiah, chapter 30, verse 9. That this is a rebellious people. Our people are rebellious, man. We, we teach you straight out of the Bible. We'll come out here, and in 10 minutes, you would have heard more Bible verses than you heard in the last month at your God-forsaken church. That's, That's right! right. Oh. But you don't want to hear it. You'd rather hear the opinion of some damn devil cracker standing up on the stage in a fancy suit. But your brother in your face, you can't be bothered with. That's all right. Keep going. Lay children. Children that will not hear the law of the Lord. Children that will not hear the law of the Lord. He, they preach to you smooth things, things that you want to hear, and you're so willing to accept it. Now I'm realizing that it's destroying you. It's, it's stupid, it's foolish. Go ahead. Which say to the seers? Which say to the seers, what? Say not. See not. That's what they tell us. Hey man, don't, don't talk like that. Don't say that about the white man. God damn the white man. That's right. 
Get out. We can see you up here. Go ahead. And to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. They don't want us to prophesy right things. What do they want? Speak unto us smooth things. They want us to speak unto them smooth things. Well, guess what? Life ain't smooth. The Most High God did not make this paradise. So it's not going to be smooth. It's going to get a lot worse before it gets better. That's right. Prophesy deceit. They want us to prophesy deceit. They want us to lie. That's right. That's why you're in that goddamn church building every week. Because you love the lies. What verse is that? Uh, we're on 11. That was uh, Isaiah 30. 10. Skip to 12. Verse 12. Wherefore, thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise this word and trust in oppression. Because you despise this word and trust in oppression. Not you, brother. I'm pointing at the cops behind you. That's right. And trust in oppression. What? And perverse this, and stay thereof. Therefore, this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall. Shall be unto you as a breach ready to fall, man. This can't stand. All right. This, this, all this here is not permanent. That's right. It's going uh, up in smoke. And I'm not laying up my treasure in something that's going up in smoke. That's right. That's right. I want the kingdom. The kingdom that's not going to come to an end. The uh, kingdom that's going to be ruled in righteousness by our rightful king, Mashiach Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. God. What you got? It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 13, verse 6. If thy brother... If thy brother, or who? The son of thy mother, or thy son of, of thy daughter, or the wife of thy bosom, or thy friend, which is as thine own soul. So if anybody that e that is even close to you, even your friend that you consider like your own self, your mother, your son, your grandson, whoever, anybody, what? Come. Entice thee secretly. Entice thee secretly to do what? Say, let us go and serve other gods. Hey son, come on down with me to the church and we gonna worship white Jesus. What are we supposed to do to that? Which thou hast not known. Which thou have not known, because that's not our people. That was pushed on us, forced on us. Go ahead. Thou nor thy fathers. Thou nor thy fathers. When they had us in chains, we didn't know nothing about that until they put it in our face. Go ahead. Namely, of the God of the people which are, are round about you. Namely, of the God of the people that are round about you. What God is that? This damn devil on this sign right here. That's right. This right here. Namely that. Go ahead. I unto thee are far off from thee. Or far off from thee. Doesn't matter. From the one end of the earth unto the other end of the earth. So no matter what strange God it is. Go ahead. Thou shalt not consent unto them. So you're supposed to say, no, Grandma, I'm not going down to your Pentecostal church. Go ahead. Nor hearken unto him. Nor hearken unto him. That's it. Neither shall thine eyes pity him. Neither shall thine eyes pity him. You can one person. Yeah, finish that. We're gonna talk about that. Neither shall thy eyes neither shall thou spare, neither shall thou conceal him. So you shall not pity them or or conceal them. Why? Because death comes with that. If anybody even close to you says that you that they want you to come and serve other gods with them, back in the times of Moses, we put you to death outright for that. That's right. Now there is a such thing as grace and mercy, but at the end of the day, the wages of sin is death. That's right. So everybody up in that whorehouse that y'all call the Christian church, or the Muslim mosque, or the Catholic Church, or the Jewish temple, or the Buddhist temple, or whatever the hell other false nonsense you worshiping. 
death come with that. You need to come up out of that. That's right. You got that? Cut. This is Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 24. Verse 23. Take heed unto yourselves, lest ye forget the covenant of the Lord your God. So take heed unto yourselves, meaning be careful, be mindful of what you're doing. That's right. Lest ye what? Forget the covenant of the Lord your God. Lest you forget the covenant of the Lord your God. And how have we forgotten our covenant? I'll tell you. Primarily, in forgetting to keep the law, statutes, and commandments. But, but you know, initially, not sacrificing our, our children. That's right. Because we don't look at, uh, a lot of our people don't see that as important anymore. Because we've been, we've been pushed so far away from our own, our own customs. Is that it on that? I am talking about Jesus. You know Jesus? You know him? You keep all the laws of the Bible? I couldn't hear you. I heard him. I heard you. Which he made with you. And make you a graven image. Go ahead. Or the likeness of anything which the Lord thy God hath forbidden them. So if you go ahead. Forbid me, like make, Making these things that, that God forbid us. We destroyed, man. This is a ticking time bomb, man. Hey, man. What, what is that? You smoking a cigarette, brother? Yes, yes. Just tobacco. I don't do drugs, man. You don't think, you don't think tobacco's a drug? It's absolutely a drug, brother. Look, we, we love you, brother. We don't want you to destroy yourself, man. We don't want you to destroy yourself. You got to love yourself, brother. Yep. It's just tobacco. I don't do drugs, brother. That is a drug. Just because it don't make you high don't mean it's not a drug. That cancels, that cancels the real deal. Yes, the Lord strikes you down with that, you better hey, repent before it happens. First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. For who have no Know ye not that ye are the temple temple of God, so and that the Spirit God. of God dwelleth in you, if any man defile the temple of God. So don't you know that you are the temple of God and the Spirit dwells in you? If you defile the temple of God, what? Him shall God destroy. Him shall God <laughs> destroy. So if you burn in tobacco, it's sucking that up into your lungs. You might as well be burning cannabis and sucking it up into your lungs. That's or right. crack and sucking it up into your lungs. That's right. Or whatever else. Because you're defiling your temple and the most is going to destroy you for it. That's right. How's it going to destroy you? With cancer. That's or he right. might just make you drop dead. Your heart might seize up and start. That's right. But either way, he's going to snatch that spirit out your body. And destroy you. Right? For the temple of God is holy. For the temple of God is holy. Meaning what is set apart. You're not supposed to do what all these other people are doing. That's right. Well, just because your grandpa used to watch gun smoke and you seen them rolling cigarettes on that. Look, you ain't no cowboy, man. That's right. Leave that to them. I was watching American History X and these skinheads caught one of their own members smoking weed. You know what he told them? That's for niggers. That's how they look at it. They said, leave them drugs for the darkies, man. Well, I'm saying it the other way. Leave that for them crackers. That's Let right. Them That's, That's right. right. Let them get cancer. Uh. Last week, a white man asked me for a cigarette. I told him I don't smoke. He said, yeah, I know it ain't good for me. I said, no, it ain't, but keep it up. That's right. That's right. I want you to keep it up. The more you take yourselves out, the better. 
For, for the temple of God is holy. For the temple of God is holy. Go on. Which temple ye are? Which temple ye are? Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, your body is a temple. That's right. Please don't confuse this message. Everybody's body ain't no temple. That's, That's right. right. Let the white man have all that defiled garbage. Huh? Bring that out in Ecclesiastes. Book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 14, verse 5. He that is evil to himself. He that is evil to himself. How are you evil to yourself? Poisoning yourself. That's right. Read on. To whom will he be good? Who can he be good to if he can't even be good to himself? He shall not take pleasure in his goods. He shall not take pleasure in his goods because he ain't going to live to keep them. That's right. Uh, let, me, let, let, let me ask the sisters a question right now for any sisters watching. Let's say there was a brother that approached you and said he wanted you to be his wife. But he he, he cuts his arms. He, he cuts himself. Huh. He, 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 every time he, he gets mad, he punches himself in the face and, and slams his head through the, through, the, uh, through, the, through the wall. Right. What you think he gonna do to you? Oh, right. That's right. You think he's gonna be good to you? Absolutely. Man, hell no. So, so if you walking around here smoking, shooting up, snorting, yep. you can't be good to nobody else. You ain't even good to yourself. Uh -huh. And this is the same thing with that whole be a light unto the Gentiles doctrine that these that these damn sell us that love the white men so much keep talking about. Uh -huh. We are not fixed yet. How the hell are we supposed to fix other people if we ain't fixed yet? You know when they go get the law? When we get the kingdom. When we get dominion and rule over them, and we can rule in righteousness. They're gonna have to serve their punishment, but that punishment is righteous. Because they did this to us. Because they did this to us. They gotta serve a punishment for that. But then they can get the law, and then they can learn how to live right. That's when we gonna be a light unto them, by taking them by force. This is their kingdom. They don't have to listen to nothing. Hey, Mr. White Man, you know, you got to stop eating that pork you love so much. He going to tell me go to hell, nigga. And I don't even blame him for it. I don't waste my breath on no damn crackers like that. That's right. That's right. Because oh, frankly, God. I don't give a good goddamn if God kills them. I want God to kill them. That's right. Bring it out. Matter of fact, God promised to kill them. Get, what you got? Now hold that. Give me uh, Obadiah 18. 1 and 18. Alright, brother. Alright, bro. Got that Obadiah? Obadiah! What? Verse 18. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire. So the, the southern kingdom is gonna is likened unto a fire here. Read on. And the house of Joseph a flame. And the house of Joseph a flame, the northern kingdom being likened unto a flame. So the united kingdom of Israel is a fire and a flame. Read on. Read on. And the house of Esau for stubble. So the white man for stubble. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, fire and flame. White man, stubble. Read on. And they shall kindle in them. And we're going to kindle in them. And what? And devour them. And devour them like fire with devour stubble. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. So there's not going to be a single white person left on the planet, on the face of the earth. For Why? For the Lord has spoken it. For the Lord has spoken it. Esau's going to be completely obliterated. That's right. Why the hell would I waste my time trying to invite him to the Passover? And watch the elder do hat tricks. All right? That's Christianity with a Hebrew cover. We ain't about that over here in the, in the Israelite school of Sakaar. That's right. That's right. What was your order, Matthew? Matthew 7 and 18. 7 and, yes, 18. Let me get that. The book of Matthew, chapter 7, verse 18. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. 
fruit. So a good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. So where it started at is what it's going to end with. So the, the, the Holy Roman Church or whatever they call it, the Catholic Church, spreading their gospel, their, their so-called gospel, because it ain't even good news. The Messiah being a cracker is not good news. I don't care what you say. Huh. Spreading that word by the sword, by, by torch, by noose, by drawing and quartering, by all kinds of manner of wickedness, by oppressing God's people, they don't have no good fruit. That's not a righteous tree. Read on. Neither, neither there can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. So they cannot bring forth good fruit. If what you're preaching comes from that, it's not good. So guess what? That's just the Catholics, but what about the Protestants? Right. The Protestants broke off from the Catholics, so it's still wicked. The Baptist, the Pentecostal, the Episcopalian, all these different denominations all, all stepped off the, uh, the Protestants, which stepped off the Catholics. So it's all the same damn bastard family tree. That's right. It's all the same nonsense. Read on. Every tree that bringeth, bringeth not forth good fruit is is hewed down and cast unto a unto the fire. So every tree that brings forth not good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. What fire is this going to be? Thermonuclear destruction. Man. That's right. The end of this. The end of this wicked ass kingdom. Read on. Wherefore by their fruits ye shall know them. Wherefore by their fruits ye shall know them. Just like by our fruits you're going to know us. Read not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. So not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Because what they like to say in that damn church is, Who, whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord. But they don't keep reading on where it says, ye men of Israel. That's, That's right. the only ones that can make it. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. The verse is that. Oh, uh, 21. That up. But he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. That's who's going to make it. What is his will? That we keep his law, statutes, and commandments. You can't say you do his will, but then he says, don't do this, and you do it. That's and right. he says, do that, and you don't do it. You're not keeping his will. The Most High God doesn't change. Hamash Yahweh Shai doesn't change. That's right. You can get that. Before you bring that out, give me Hebrews uh, 13. Book of Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8 Jesus Christ the same yesterday and today and forever so Jesus Christ the same yesterday and today and forever so none of this has ever changed any Christian worth this salt knows that the Old Testament prophesied about the, the coming of, uh, of the Messiah that's right everybody should know that Moses spoke about who the world calls Jesus Christ and anybody worth the salt knows that that's who was guiding Moses. So if that if Moses got what he got from him, he didn't change. It is what it is, man. Give me that. By, because by by their fruits ye shall know them. Let's let's learn about these fruits real quick. Galatians chapter five verse thirteen. Now the works of the flesh are manifest. So the works of the flesh are manifest. What is it? What are the works of the flesh? Which are these? Adultery. Adultery. That's breaking a law. What else? Fornication. Fornication. Unlawful sex acts. That's breaking a law. Uncleanliness. Uncleanliness. We have to be holy, set apart, and sanctified. Breaking the law. Go on. Lasciviousness. 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 Breaking a law. Go on. Idolatry. Idolatry. We spoke a lot about idolatry today. That's one of the Ten Commandments. Breaking the law. Go ahead. 
Witchcraft! Witchcraft! Breaking the law. Shall not suffer a witch to live. Go ahead. Hatred! Hatred! Because we are commanded to love our brothers and not hate our brother and our neighbor. So breaking a law. Go ahead. Variance! Variance, another law, go ahead. Emulation! Emulations, breaking the law. Wrath! Wrath, unjust anger, breaking the law. Strife! Strife amongst each other, breaking the laws, go ahead. Seditions! Seditions, keep going. Heresies! Heresies, false teachings. Envyings! Envyings, we're not supposed to the covenant, go ahead. Breaking all this is breaking the law. Murderers. Murderers. Breaking the law. That's all not kill, right? Go ahead. Drunkenness. Drunkenness. Keep going. Rebellings. Rebellings. Keep going. And such like. And such like. What does that mean? Every other law. That's right. All those examples that were just given, plus all the all the other examples that could have been given. The works of the flesh are these, breaking the law. That's the works of the flesh. Read on. Of which I tell you before. Of which I tell you before. Where are we reading? What book is this? Galatians. Galatians, which is located where? In what they call the New Testament. In which was told to us before, since way back when, when Genesis, Exodus, Numbers, Leviticus, Deuteronomy, but since, since way back then we was told this, Paul is reiterating it. Paul never spoke against the law. He taught to keep the law. Bring uh, as I have also told you in the entire past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. So if you do these things, if you break these laws, or any of the other laws, you will not inherit the kingdom of God. Keep going. But the fruit of the Spirit, it is love, joy, peace, long suffering. Wait, 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 wait. We're going to go through this slow. Because Christians don't know what joy, peace, and, love suffer and long suffering are. So read the first one out of this list. The spirit is, it is love. It is love. What is love? Give me that in 1 John 5 and 2. It's the book of 1 John chapter 5 verse 2. But this we know that we love the children of God. When we love God and keep his commandments. When we love God and keep his commandments. Read on. For this is the love of God. For this is the love of God. Love which is the first of the fruits of the spirit. Read on. That we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. That his commandments are not grievous, and we keep them. All right? Uh. That's how you have love. So there's no love in your goddamn church. There is none. You get love right here. That's right. What's the next one? Joy. Joy. Is there joy in the church? Oh, they look happy. But is there <laughs> biblical joy in the church? No. And I don't mean your auntie's sister joy. We're no. talking about the fruits of the spirit. You got that, brother? No. The book of Proverbs, chapter 21, and verse 15. It is joy to the just to, be, to do judgment but destruction shall be to the workers of iniquity. Give me Ecclesiastes 3 and 5. Yeah, read it one more time. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 21, verse 15. It is joy to the just to do, to do judgment. So it is joy to the just to do judgment. How do we judge? Based on the Torah, based on the law, statutes, and commandments. That's how I can tell if what you're doing is wrong or if what you're doing is right. That's right. Without it, there's no measuring stick. Without it, it's just your own vain opinion. Somebody might say, oh, well, we think what you're doing is wrong. Well, if I can show you what I'm doing being done by a holy man in the Bible and it being praised 
and, 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 and uplifted than who the hell are you to tell me that it's wrong if God likes it. That's right. And just because you like doing what you're doing doesn't mean that it ain't wrong. Is that it on that? Uh, go ahead. But destruction shall be to the workers of iniquity. But destruction shall be to the workers of iniquity. Who are the workers of iniquity? The lawbreakers. Chiefly, the so-called white men. The devil the Bible speaks of. That's right. You got that? While he's getting that, I need you to get a proper skin. Surah, chapter 3, verse 15. In the day of thine affliction, it shall be remembered. <coughs> Thy sins also shall melt away as the ice. Fine, 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 fine. Surat. Surat. Surat, chapter 3, verse 5. Whoso honoreth his father shall have joy of his own children. He who honoreth his father, which is one of the commandments, honor thy father and thy mother, shall have joy of his children. Read on. So he's going to have joy. Keep going. And when he maketh his prayer, it shall be heard. So when he maketh his prayer, it shall be heard. He kept the commandment. He's going to have joy of his children. His prayer shall be heard. You got that in Proverbs 28? God, this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 28 and verse 9. Go back to he that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayers shall be abomination. So if you turn your ear away from the law, even your prayer shall be abomination. That's right. And I know y'all stay praying up in them churches and God hates every second of it. That's right. He's offended by it. It's smoking his eyes. So they ain't got joy either. Maybe they'll get the next one. What's the next one? Peace. So the next one is peace. I need Psalm 119 and 165. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 119, and verse 65. Thou hast dealt with, dealt well with thy servant, O Lord, according. Read that when you get home. That's the most important piece of paper you ever received in your life. Yeah, that's right. Verse 165. Great peace have thy which love thy law. So great peace have they which love thy law. You got that? And nothing shall offend them. And nothing shall offend them. So they can say whatever they want to say about us. All those crazy guys on the street corner. Well, y'all look crazy to us. Worshiping a damn white man in some fancy building with a penis on top of it. Y'all didn't know that obelisk was a penis, did you? That's gay. I'm sorry. Not sorry. <laughs> Excuses. You have a, you have a reason as to why you can't do nothing. 
Well, there's your reason for why your life is in shambles. That's right. There's your reason for why you're losing loved ones. Wives are leaving you. Husbands are leaving you. Children are still born. Your boss fired you. What's the, so, so they failed peace. What about the next one? Long suffering. Long suffering. Let's see if they got long suffering. Read, read that. Matthew 18 and 21. Then came Peter to him and said, Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me? So he said, how often shall my brother sin against me? Go ahead. And I forgive him. How many times do I got to forgive him? Till seven times. Do I have to forgive him seven times? Is that it, Lord? Go ahead. Verse 22. Jesus said unto him, I say not unto thee until seven times, but until 70 times seven. So not just seven times, but 70 times seven. And then what just... <laughs> hey, hey, you know what? I, I need another man's foundation. I need another man's foundation. Romans 15 and 20. This is the book of Romans, <clears throat> chapter 15, verse 20. Yea, so, ha so have I strived to preach the gospel. So we have strived to preach the gospel. We are not where Christ was named. Not where Christ was named. Not like this guy's doing over here, trying to use the same corner, trying to take the same audio and, and sound over the word of God coming out already. That's right! Because he would never do this to the white man. That's right! He would never do it to the white man. But he sees some, what, what? He sees his niggers up here. When he sees his specks up here, he don't respect them. But that's all right. Because his word's coming out anyway. That's right! Is that it on that? Least I should build upon another man's foundation. Least I should build upon another man's foundation. This is why Paul went from place to place. This is why Paul went to where the word was needed, where it needed to be brought out. That is a competition among people that's supposed to be believing in the same book. We don't come out here to compete with nobody. We come out here to contend for the faith. That's right! Well, let's see if he has the fruits of the spirit. I hope so. I hope so. What's the next one? Gentleness. Gentleness. Proverbs 14 and 29. Let's see if they got gentleness. You think it's gentle to come out specifically to an area where brothers have been preaching? We've been preaching out here for a while now. I know they knew we was out here. I know they know what time we come out here. That's right. They've specifically and strategically picked this time and this place to try to undo what we're doing. That's right. To get a bullhorn to scream over us. That's all right. Because we got gentleness. Read on. Proverbs 14 and 29. 29, yo. He that is slow to wrath is of great understanding. He that is slow to wrath is of great understanding. Read on. But he that is hasty of spirit exalteth folly. Exalteth folly. Now with the long suffering and the gentleness, I wanted to give an example. Before this man so rudely started shouting whatever he's shouting on his bullhorn. I ain't heard him quote a scripture yet. I have a friend who is in the in the uh, Jehovah's Witness organization, uh, to, just like any other Christian church. It's the same thing. Minor differences. He had sex with his wife before they signed the marriage papers. Now, do you think they said? Hey, brother, you know, we don't really think that's a good idea. That's not what we teach to do. Um, you know, we're going to counsel you and tell you why we don't think it's a good thing to do. Hell no. You know what they did? They kicked his black ass out the Jehovah's Witness organization. Wow. And they kept that white woman he married in. Now, if that's a sin, which it's not, but if that's a sin, if that's a transgression, they both would have transgressed, wouldn't they have? That's right. That's right. They, they, they're, one is as guilty as the other or as innocent as the other. That's a two-person situation. They kicked his ass out. Kept her cracker ass in. He tells me about it, and I said, don't you see a problem with this, brother? You don't see something here. What, what is different about you and her? Huh. 
She on this side, you on this side. That's the difference, brother. So they ain't had gentleness and they ain't had long suffering. What's the next one? Goodness. Goodness. Oh, what is goodness? Let's get some of that, man. Romans 7 and 12. Let's see if they got goodness. It went up a church that man across the street just showed up at. Uh, uh, comes from. Do they have goodness? It's the book of Romans, chapter 7, verse 12. Wherefore the law is holy. The law is holy. What? And the commandments holy. And the commandments holy. And what else? And just and good. And just and and good. If they teach against the law and the commandments, they don't have goodness. That's why. That's all that is good. And you are not just without it. It doesn't matter if you come out here with a bull whore and yell at people about being born again if you can't even tell them what being born again is. That's right. How do you be born again? You come back to your, your nationality, your, your the law, statutes, and commandments. Come. Your heritage. Come. What's the next one? What's the next one? It's lucky. It's all right. Give me Hebrews 11. Faith! The next one is faith. You got that in Hebrews? Uh, it's the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So I'm going to read that again. You know what? You read this for me right here, brother. I want this in the NLT, just to make it plain for you. Faith is the confidence that we hope for will actually happen. It gives us assurance about things we cannot see. So this is what faith is. It gives us assurance of things that we cannot see. What do we have faith in? That every word of this Bible is true. That every prophecy must come to pass that everything that the Most High God said is good for us is actually good for us, and everything that He said is bad for us is actually bad for us, because we believe in our God. That's right. We don't believe in the so-called white man. That's right. God yeah. said, don't eat swine. It's, it's unclean. It's bad for you. The white man said, you eat whatever you want. I'm going to trust in God. I'm not going to make no damn cracker my idol. That's right. It's never going to happen, and you should never let it happen. Just because some man that don't read the Bible is shouting about the Bible through a bullhorn. Don't fall for it. That's right. Because if he was really about what he's saying he about, he would take his ass somewhere else where the Bible's not being preached. That's right. The Bible's being preached here and it's been preached here. Week in, week out. In season, out of season. That's right. Without fail. You ain't never going to come out here on the day that we come out here and not see us. That's how it goes. The same way with Jesus and the apostles, with the world ignorantly calls Jesus' real name, Yahweh and his apostles. The same way with the prophets before him. The same way with Moses and Aaron before them. All the way since the beginning of the world. What's the next one? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before you get that, so lock it. I need James 2 and 17. This is tantamount when we're talking about faith. It's the book of James, chapter 2, verse 17. Even so, faith, if it has not works, is dead being alone. So if your faith doesn't come with works, it's dead. That's it, right. It doesn't matter if you say you believe, if you go against what the Most High God said. If he said, honor thy mother and father, and you be like, I believe in God, but I'm going to spit in my father's face and slap my mother. You don't believe in God, your faith is dead. It counts for nothing. That's right. Works have to come, come along with faith. And your works don't mean nothing without faith. They go together. It doesn't matter if you have fringes in the beard. If you don't believe in the, if you pray, bow down and pray to Allah. Bring it out. Your works don't count for nothing if you do that. You need faith and works. Get the next one, brother. Make this. Numbers 12 and 3. The book of oh, Slacker. Yeah, all right, Hebrews 11 and 12. Wow. You want to bring that up? Yes. There's the book of Numbers, chapter 12, verse 3. Now the man Moses was very meek. Meek. He had the fruit of the Spirit. He was meek. Read. A 
about all the men which were upon the face of the earth. So this is the most meek man that lived at that time. You got that? This is Hebrews chapter 11, verse 25. Choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasure of sin for a season. Verse 24, by faith, Moses, when he, when he was come to years. So when he grew up, he had faith. Go ahead. Refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. He refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. He refused to, to identify himself with the wicked, oppressive, oppressive nation he was born in. Just like I refuse to identify myself as an American before an Israelite, That's before right. a child of God. Read on. Choosing rather to suffer affliction. Choosing rather to suffer affliction. Go ahead. With the people of God. With the people of God. Go ahead. Than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. Rather than choose to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. And he said something that was absolutely true across the street. God is not a respecter of persons. So if you breaking God's laws, guess what? He gonna kill you. That's right. He's gonna put you down. But if Bring you, it out. But if you do and teach them, he's gonna raise you up. He set before you life and death. Bring I suggest out. you choose life. Let's get the next one. God. That's all right. That's all right. Temperance. Temperance. I need, get me Romans 6 and 12. I need that now. Oh, Colossians 3 and 5. It's the book of Romans, chapter 6, verse 12. Let not sin reign, therefore, in your mortal body. Let sin not reign in your mortal body. Meaning, don't dwell on sin, don't fantasize about sin, don't act on sin. That's right. Let all that go. Go ahead. That ye should obey it in the lust of thereof. Because if you dwell on it, you end up, you're going to end up acting on it. That's right. It's not enough just to not sleep with your neighbor's wife. You can't think about it neither. That's right. Because if you just fantasize and think about it and think about it and think about it, eventually the opportunity might arise. And if you've been dreaming about it for however long, hey, you're going to fall to it. That's right. Bring it out. You got that? God. Colossians chapter 3, verse 5. Mortify therefore your members. Meaning kill that off. Kill off the works of the flesh, which is sin. Go ahead. Which are upon the earth. Fornication. A sin. A cleanliness. A sin. Inordinate. Affection. A sin. Evil. Sin. Conspicuous. Conspicuous. A sin. And covetousness. A, which is what? A sin. What, read. Oh. Which is what? Covetousness, oh. which is what? Which is idolatry. Which is idolatry. Which is a sin. That's right. It's all good, brother. It's hard. I know. I know. It's dark out here. But we do the work regardless, man. God. Out of the Holy Bible. Not out of our hearts. Not out of what feels good. We coming with thus saith the Lord. That's right. And if we not, come before us and challenge me and my God. That's right. Bring it out. All right, let's get the conclusion. Let's get the conclusion. I need 
2nd Ezra's 3 and 20. Matter of fact, you get 2nd Ezra's 3 and 20. You get uh, Ecclesiastes uh, 12 and 13. You want me to bring it up first? Yes, you first. The book of 2nd Ezra's, chapter 3, verse 20. And yet tookest thou not away from them a wicked heart. So he didn't take away from them a wicked heart, meaning a wicked mind, meaning they dwell on sin, which is what we just read we're not to do. That's right. Go ahead. That they, that they, Slakia, that thy law bring forth, Slakia, that thy law might bring forth fruit in them. That thy law might bring forth fruit in them. What fruit is this referring to? The fruit of the spirit, the keeping of the law, the opposite of the works of flesh, the very thing these men with bullhorns and no Bibles want you to get involved with. That's right. So let's get the conclusion. You got that, brother? <coughs> God. Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Let's hear the conclusion of the whole matter. How does this wrap up? What is the message at the end of the day? Fear God. We're to fear God. And keep his commandments. And keep his commandments. Why? For this is the whole duty of men. You weren't made for any other purpose. The only reason you are even born, the only reason you are here, the only reason there's air in your lungs and your feet can carry you, is so that you can keep the commandments God. and fear God that gave them to you. That's right. So with that, I want to say, call Allah, Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, that's all praises to the Most High God in the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, a death to America. Death, death to America! America. And death to the damn Catholic and Christian church. That's right.